Hello, hello, this is Elizabeth Griffin, the Black Romance Writer, and welcome back to my channel. If you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Please take a moment and do so, and definitely share my content with others. Check out my catalog of ebooks, audiobooks, and especially go to Kendall Vella's website and follow me there and read my episodic romantic fiction. So, if you take the time to look at my screen, you will note at the bottom that it says February the 2nd, 1987, 8.26 p.m. Well, when I started making this video and I saw that date, it got me to thinking about what was I doing in 1987? Well, I was 24 years old. I had just come back from a trip to Mexico, Cancun, with my friends. And I was just thinking about, I want to fall in love. I haven't met anyone and I'm 24 years old. Will I ever meet anyone? So I was a little melancholy. I was actively looking for a boyfriend. I was attending community college at the time. And of course, I was taking writing classes because I was an aspiring writer. I'm still an aspiring writer all these years later. But in 1987, I was a young person full of dreams, hopes, admirations. And at the forefront of all that was a desire to write romance novels. And that desire has stayed with me for a very long time. So I'd like to mention to you that I, at the time, as I said, was single. Little did I know that the very next year, a little after my birthday, I met the man of my dreams, the father of my children, and I produced a family. I have four wonderful children. I had a beautiful relationship that eventually dissolved and didn't work out. But that's another story for another time. Right now, Thinking about 1987, I was very uh, optimistic. And 1988, I fell in love. And 1989, I had my first child. And then 1991, I had another child, my daughter. Then 1993, I had a son. And in 1995, I concluded my childbearing years with my baby, the baby of the family. So I know I'm rambling on and talking about the past, but back then I had no idea of all the opportunities that would be afforded me. That the fact uh, years later, I would be able to create my own novels, publish my own novels, create my own audiobooks. The future was so bright, but I had no idea. And at the time, I was, um, I was confined to writing my novels and sending them to publishing houses, which rejected my manuscript time and time and time again, which led me to the path of self-publishing. Thank you, Dan Pointer, for your amazing book on self-publishing. Uh, for those of you who aren't familiar, definitely check out his work. Even though some of his information may be dated, all of it, I believe, is relevant and can help you on your writing journey. So, back to the present. I am so excited about all the opportunities that are out there for writers. The different platforms that allow you to showcase your work, such as Kindle Vella, Amazon, Smashwords, Barnes & Nobles, Kobo, Scrib. Uh, there are so many Google Play. There are so many, so many, so many platforms and opportunities for you to produce your work and get it out there that you have no excuse. You have no excuse. And if you're intimidated about writing and the writing process, well, check out my earlier videos. I talk about everything from the eight parts of speech, from the different uh, narrative voices that you can use, the points of view. Check out my catalog and I will help you on your journey to becoming a writer. I don't know it all, but I'm sharing what I know and what I love. And also, if you are intimidated by a blank computer screen, 
understand that the first draft is not the best draft. It is only the beginning to a wonderful, amazing book. So take advantage of editing and enjoy editing.